Hello, um, today I wanted to have a quick look at um, the problem of instant gratification or the pig. Um, um, what I mean by instant gratification is something that makes us feel better immediately. Um, so I feel bad um, and I want to feel better immediately. So I might go and use a substance. I might go and use alcohol or drugs because that'll make me feel better, artificially feel better really quickly. Um, but the problem with instant gratification is it never lasts. It wears off really quickly and then I feel awful again and then possibly even more awful than I did before. And then I want to feel better immediately again, so I'll go and use some, try and use some more, um, and that will wear off quickly, and I'll feel worse again. And I just spend my life chasing the pig, and that's all I do. I'm chasing around after this pig, looking for this instant gratification, this instant relief, um, and it's not a great way to live our lives. Um, also, the more we chase the pig the more it reinforces the idea in our brains that we should chase the pig. Um, and when we don't get instant gratification, it makes us feel bad. And so we go and chase the pig again to feel better. Uh, and we get trapped in this vicious circle going round and round and round chasing this pig. Um, so the opposite, the opposite of instant gratification is delayed gratification. And a kind of example or, or the way of putting delayed gratification is if you felt bad, you might go and buy some, buy yourself some flowers and you'd have these lovely flowers and you think, oh, look, that, that makes me feel better. But very soon those flowers would die and wilt and you just end up with a vase full of rotting flowers. Um, and make you feel great. Um, that would be instant gratification. Delayed gratification would be going along and planting flower seeds and tending those seedlings as they grew and watering them and feeding them. And then what would happen is you get loads of flowers and they'd last all summer long. Um, and the gratification would just be greater and last longer. Um, and in life, there are things we can do to plant seeds like that, to get the delayed gratification. Things like mindfulness and meditation, exercise, um, hobbies and interests, uh, having a good social group, um, meeting friends, um, meeting family. All of these are, are types of delayed gratification that can help us feel better for longer, for even possibly the rest of our life. Um, uh, a way of thinking about it is that pleasure, we go out pleasure seeking, pleasure only lasts, it's fleeting, just like instant gratification. Pleasure is instant gratification. But happiness, happiness is something that lasts, can last a long time, and that comes with delayed gratification. Delayed gratification, is a bit of hard work. Um, we have to work on those seeds that we plant and you might not get the effect straight away, but when they do come in, they're gonna last a hell of a lot longer than the instant gratification. Um, oh, that's useful. Cheers.